right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Why do I seem to have a plant growing out of my back? Use was to move. Move. Yes, thanks, mate. I think I've worked that much out. Um, yes, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something called Slaughterhouse. Which is a third-person shooter. Press Q to charge enemies with my horns? Oh, okay. Use right mouse button to aim. Use left mouse button to shoot. Yes, I've already discovered that, haven't I, by trying to click back into the game. So the reason that I got this was for one reason and one reason only. You play as a, well, a, a, a cow. You play the game as a cow. Now, I play many a game like a cow, by which I mean like an idiot, blundering around with no knowledge of what it is I'm supposed to be doing. I didn't realise these people also had guns. This is a very serious issue. Um, oh, okay, they're a little bit more human. I think gun sounds really loud. Oh, I ran out My aim's gotten worse over my little break from recording, hasn't it? What? Use spacebar to enter and exit cover, and aim and shoot while taking cover. Oh, okay. So it's like, I can't think of a single game that operates in this manner. Where do I find more bullets? Oh, right, right here. Right here, right in front of my face. No surprises there, then. Are those some of my Moo Cow brethren? You're getting hot. You'll die. Thank you. Just because you're not wearing a shirt doesn't mean you're impervious to death. We'd have we'd fight very different wars if that were the case. Can I get in the other? Yes, I can. With with hang on a second. Why do I have hands instead of hooves? That's a very, very serious question we have here. Find a way to free the trapped cows. Well, that shouldn't be difficult because we can do it. Ab abso abso absolutely, we can. Ah, oh, this is a bit. This, this is a bit dark. But at least the Aberdeen Angus's, which are a highly excellent form of cow. Where is the cow? Is the cow in here? Or is this some sort of cow mulching device? I don't know. I'm not a beefologist. Okay, an exit. This seems about right. Hi! You kid, who's shooting at me? You are? That's not fair. There's no way I'm going to be able to hit you from here. Never mind that. This gun has amazingly good range. Probably because programming things like range and uh, range and drop and wind and all that kind of rubbish usually ends up being a bit complicated. Stay alert, don't get hurt. I like the fact that that rhymes because it makes it easier to remember, but at the same time I'm the cow and it looks like getting hurt is kind of your whole business. So I have no idea what this game is going to be like spooky. Or this game is going to be silly, or this game is going to be very serious. And I completely forgot to keep looking at the the audio levels for the guns. I'll tell you what the thing is, I need to look and aim. I need to look and aim to shoot the gun. But while I'm shooting the gun, I need to look and check at the audio levels. While a fly goes by, and the frame rate keeps alternating. Oh, goodness. My friends, my brethren. My mooey monotly crew. You have died. But you shall be avenged. Homemade salami. Salami doesn't come from cows, does it? I thought it was pork. <laughs> Okie dokie. So it seems like I have full health, but I've got no idea what my health bar is. I don't know if it's that little jar in the uh, next to my gun, or whether it's more like the emblem that I can see. I should probably be using the... Um, Probably be using my um, my, my cover mechanic inside, and probably aiming a little bit better because I'm about to run out of bullets. It's also just struck me I have a charge, don't I? Which I never realised, and I never actually ended up using. Right, there we are. A few more bullets. It's going to be absolutely necessary because I'm almost out. Of them. Come on, get in the cover. There we are. Right. Is my health going to regenerate naturally or not? I don't think it is. Ah, six bullets. I'm sure I will be able to topple this entire corporation, all of its power, with a mere six bullets. I can't be able to swap my guns out for theirs. Okay, let's collect some supplies. Maybe neither of those pictures down there are meant to be my, um, 
my health. Maybe it is just the uh, the visuals on the screen. Okay, there's some catwalks up there, but I don't think they go anywhere. I still haven't been freeing any of these cows. I feel like that is a really important job I really ought to be doing, but I'm not doing it. Actually, I want to try the charge thing. What was it, Q? Charge! That didn't work even a little bit. Now I can't get the doors open. Kitty, up. We had a moment like this in the forest, didn't we? Right, come on, come on. There we are. Now they've gotten away from the door, and a wall has suddenly spawned out of the grand total of nowhere. Let me charge these enemies. And I'm pressing Q and nothing's happening now. Brilliant! It seems my charging is a variable, not a constant. That wasn't enough to kill him. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to charge him and hope that it kills him, and it absolutely didn't. But at least I've got the bullets now. And these... These lumberjack dressed twits. Enormous arms. I can only... I, I mean, I can probably guess what they've been doing with all those girl arms that big and strong. But uh, let's not go there. This is supposed to be family friendly, despite the fact that it's got death and murder in it. That's a bit weird, isn't it? That death and murder and the destruction of life is considered to be perfectly acceptable for children, but the creation of life isn't. Bit weird, that, innit? Anyway. Not that I'm, you know, like, advocating that it should be, it should, it should be, you know, for kids. Absolutely not. So do I just do a bit of damage when I charge them? Because I've got no more bullets. Oh, that's what that skull emblem is. That's telling it, telling me how charged my charge is. Charge my charge. <laughs> Funny pun. Seriously, what am I going to do? I have no more bullets. Do I have, like, a grenade? Or a melee or something I could use? Or am I just supposed to be more competent than I have been? Um, I've got no idea. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Well, this is a predicament. I... 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 <laughs> I'm not convinced I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> um... <laughs> Why do I have horns and others? Cows have one or the other, not both. Okay, I'm gonna have one more try before this thing just breaks my brain entirely. I'm gonna have one more try and I'm gonna try and be a little bit more careful with my ammunition and see if I can do any better. Probably not, because my aim is absolutely horrific even at the best of times. He shot his own friend. You lunatic, you've gotten too addicted to killing people. Killing all of my cowy friends. You've gotten so addicted to killing, you're willing to kill anyone. I feel I'm going to have to invent some kind of context with these guys, because I get the distinct impression this game isn't going to bog itself down with a little silly little thing called context. So I think I'm going to have to invent some kind of context, because it seems like I have a backpack, and some plants, and I know how to operate a gun, walk on my hind feet, and I'm a cow. So I'm guessing there's got to be some sort of freakiness going on. I'm going to leave that ammo, because I can only carry 90 bullets in reserve, and like, they give you more than 7 if you pick them up when you've got a few less, so I'm going to wait and come back for that in a little bit, try to be a bit more efficient. Yeah, that wall just appears literally out of nowhere. So the context is that I am quickly think of a cow pun. Um, bovine Bartholomew, that's my name. Bartholomew Bovine, that's my name. And I was a worker at this excellent factory. And one day I fell into the special secret recipe sauce vats within this place. And then I forgot where the ammunition was kept. And because I fell into it, the secret ingredient, as it transpires, was radiation and sentient spiders. And they bit me, the spiders, not the radiation. And then, I have lots of bullets now, so I should be able to do this just fine. And then, I emerged, Joker style, out of the vat, like this. But it didn't just cause physiological changes, it caused psychological changes as well, which made me have a hatred of all things human, Killer Croc style. I'm not plagiarising from DC, honest. And... Yes, now I'm here to rescue my brethren, 
and murder everything vaguely resembling a human being that I can find. Okay, this looks like some sort of arena in the next room. <laughs> One cow length apart. <laughs> That's quite a wonderful thing. Okay. Oh, little puss cat. Love the puss cat. Okay, right. Oh, goodness. Middle management meeting. Please don't actually do this if you have a middle management meeting. I know they're difficult and tiresome and annoying, particularly when they're starved by people that look like Ed Gein. Those are the clothing vibe as well now, now that I think about it. But please, please don't actually do this to anybody, ever. Seriously, it's going to take up so much of your Friday, and there are so many better things you could be doing with your Friday. Like arresting the person that invented this floor. Righty ho. Okay, aunt. Is that me making that noise? I can only assume that it is. Because I've yet to see any of my friends. There must be someone. You know, I could find quite a lot of them by just going to McDonald's, but never mind. I'm glad to see that... Well, yes, I think I'm the cause of all this, frankly. I'm glad to see that this company has a nice, relaxed, sort of, office wear policy. That's cute. You know, you can just come whatever wearing, wearing whatever you like. That's nice and all. But at the same time, could people, you know, wear a shirt once in a blue moon? Oh, the vault! Is this where they're keeping the cows? Cows in the vault, that would make any sense. I'm not using any of the cover mechanics that I ought to be using. Just stand still! Stand still! Right. I'm so gonna die. Just sometimes he just completely refuses to continue using the cover mechanics. Strange cow. And, and, and all, the, all the other things aren't. You have made it to the notorious vault of the slaughterhouse. By pushing the button, you released all the trapped cows waiting to be experimented on. Your actions will have far-reaching consequences that will ripple through time. Who, Rizzly, Ra. Excellent. Bartholomew Bovine, or whatever under the sun I named this man, will now stampede across the universe, destroying every McDonald's and Burger King that he can find, leaving all of the KFCs alive, but then we'll eventually get onto some sort of spaceship and go out and save all the space cows as well. I mean, naturally. <laughs> A rough night at the gallery. This is a, this is amazingly peppy music for what I believe to be an absolute joke, but um, I like the architecture. It reminds me of Gotham. I don't know why I'm trotting along like some sort of a horse. Never mind. Um, I suppose I'll have to go through the metal detector. Oh. Of course. The special arch of soundtrack changing. Gideon. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rough Night at the Gallery. Which, as you can possibly tell by the spelling of that name, is a gallery. With dogs in it. You got licked. Well, it's more successful than most of my Friday nights go. Okay, I'm highly dead. I'm highly dead again. Okay, is this like a, is this like a weeping angel thing? Like you must look at it, because I don't seem to die otherwise. All right, we'll try operating onto that premise again. Right, I haven't even got to the justification of playing this game yet. Right, everything's fine now. Hang on a moment. What's going on here? We've got American Gothic, or possibly Canine Gothic. I don't know. Am I going to get licked again? Indeed, I am. Okay, 
so where am I going to end up? Here again. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, it looks like I need two keys. Oh, I need like three keys for this one. And I was paying so little attention that the doggy went away. Hi. Kindly leave me alone. So is this one like a, I have to find it and look at it? In order to defeat it. There you are. The dog on the left is really cute, and the dog on the right is kind of scary looking. Okay, everything's better now. Nothing is better now. Hello. Crying out. This is a bizarre gallery. Not just because of its canine compadres. That's surprisingly creepy. Because, 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 because. Hello. Because, um. These walls don't make a lot of sense. <laughs> sense, 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 sense. Yeah, well, too late. I'm out of here, mate. So, what was my justification for playing this game? I played a game that was absolutely, unbelievably ridiculous. Hi again. The enemy's mechanics aren't changing up anymore. I liked it when they were doing that. I mean, not really, because I was dying a lot. But, you know. That is bizarre. It's also kind of, um, you know, shoddy. So is this like a sort of a, uh, like a, like a, I don't know how, I don't know how you describe this. Like he, 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 he steps out of the painting and then like chases after you. And each time you look at him, he goes back to the beginning of his run. Is that the idea? Yeah, I get it, aren't he? moves a bit faster than I thought he was going to. So much of me saying that the mechanics weren't improve, uh, evolving. How smart do you look now, Phil? <clears throat> oh, is it because there's many paintings of him? Does the painting move? I have no idea. So I played a game that was absolutely ridiculous. You've very likely just seen it, or are about to see it. And I'm sure you will agree with me that it's bizarre and ridiculous. And as such, I thought we would do to christen the beginning of the um, Silly Games playlist, which I did during a power cut a couple of days ago. I thought we would try to find something equally silly to do a, a shotgun of utterly silly games. And um, I was looking at this on Steam, and I thought, this looks silly. This looks really silly. But this actually turns out to be a little better than I was thinking, because the um, the other game had a silly context but a good core gameplay mechanic. This is surprisingly similar, which I wasn't expecting. I also would have expected that within five minutes I would have tried to use the um, the, the the sprint. Okay, is the gate open now? Yes, it is. Get you. Slikes. Get you. It's like trying to get day on deal with saber beast all over again. Oh, that is a dog. Sorry, I thought I had its mouth really wide open. It had four eyes for some bizarre reason. Dapper gent, though. Hooray. Him, Ray. Ray Evans. No, sorry. I'm doing terrible jokes that don't make any sense. Um, I've no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I've no idea what I'm doing in my life. Um, so it... Looks like, oh, I see. I just went in that door because it was like the closest one. I didn't realize there were barriers here preventing me from going in all the other doors. It's wonderful how my own stupidity saves me from my own stupidity other times. Okay, so it seems like if I go through there, I'll come out of that door. And then if I come out of that door, I can go in that door. And that looks like it might possibly be the way out. Okay, I can deal with this. Probably not. I'm probably going to die awfully a lot. Well, I'm not dying. I'm just getting licked. Maybe I'm being licked until I drown. Oh, and now there's going to be two evil doggies trying to kill me? Oh, that is sneaky! That is adorable. That is the most adorable picture I've seen in a long time. Oh, no, it's a nun. None of that now. Get it out! Just you stay inside your frames and leave me alone, you fuzzy fiends. 
Oh, is that, is that, what was it called? Screaming Man by Van Gogh? It's now Screaming Dog. I, are those the paws or the ears? I'm so confused. Oh, not you again. Three of you! This is hardly sporting. You've outnumbered me. <laughs> this is actually surprisingly fun. Hello. I can't seem to go in there. You again. Kitty, I see the whole gang's getting back together. How do I get out of here? Where do I go? Oh, does this key open the gate to the, the place with the, 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 the suited gentleman? Yes, indeed. Here we are. Got licked by a screaming dog on its hind legs. It's alright, I know I'm dead. You don't have to kill me twice at once. That happened in, <laughs> that, that happened in many games. That happened, I think that happened in Slave Boys a few times. I think walking next to paintings is a dangerous thing to do because they all seem to, or many of them at least, seem to start by jumping out of their paintings. So I think you should try to walk down paths that don't have paintings in them, is the long and the short of the matter. Thing is, there's so many of them, and there's so many corridors to check, that I have no idea which way to look, and I'm not doing this in some sort of process. I'm just guessing. Let me just test something. I can't get in a corner. Let me test something. If I just stand in a corner where I'm seeing every possible avenue, am I going to die? No. Good. As it transpires, sometimes you work stuff out if you just sit still and think for a moment instead of sticking your head into a hole. I don't know where that came from. I can't go away. But now they're going to be like charged up because they haven't. Maybe I should just spin, pirouette, dance ballerina dance esque. Yeah, this seems to work. I ain't dead yet. This is the most bizarre and ridiculous method of doing this that anybody could possibly invent, and of course it would be me that comes up with this, and how do I forget who was standing behind me? He licked me from behind. Oh gosh, that's going to take longer than I anticipated to clean up. Okay, this is good. This makes my situation about 50 times easier. It's a bit like, oh no you don't. Oh no you don't, you can't trick me with that. That you might be tricking me by putting something else behind me that I need to um, need to defend myself against. Oh, goes right going back to my dance ballerina dance system. This can't fail. Well, I say that it hasn't failed <laughs> yet. Anyway, give it time. Give it time. I know it's young, but it'll it'll fail soon enough. Hooray! We have done it. We have done it excellently. We have done it marvelously. Right. Let's have these. And oh. It was light. It was the outside. But then I forgot windows exist. Because <laughs> you know I don't go outside much. I forgot windows are a thing. So we're not done yet. We have... Oh... No... You... Naughty doggies. You bad dogs. Bad dog. Ooh. Ho, ho. I have broken your system. It doesn't help me because it doesn't take me anywhere. <laughs> but it does mean I don't have to walk all the way around there. I can just jump straight down here. So that's nice, isn't it? Right. I like this bit of music. This bit of music is lovely. I'm not sure it's very doggy related, but if you talk about what doggy music was, or if you ask me what doggy music was, if I could get a sentence out of my face, it would be a small miracle. Hi again. There's not as many of you as I thought. I thought you'd all be here. I thought it would be everyone here, all at once, for one big, you know, kitty art. Let's, let's not go into alternative definitions of the phrase doggy and, um, and explore what those might mean in... and licking as well. There's a lot of connotations here. Okay, right. So it's just you, and it's pretty much one in each corner. So this seems perfectly doable. I just need to do it properly and not be an idiot. But I know there's only one of you now. Yeah, okay, so you go back to your painting. I just need to be mindful of every avenue from the painting that you can use in order to get to me. I'm not stupid. 
mate. Besides, your dog. The dog's, the dog's massively intelligent, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of experience with vaguely intelligent dogs. I have a fair amount of experience with very, very, very dipsy dogs. I don't know what it is about my family, they just... They just seem to buy really dipsy dogs for some bizarre reason. So yeah, that was the one I was looking for. Oh, I think there's a fifth key right behind his canvas, right there. I just didn't realise that. Okay, let's have another try. And I don't want to use my pirouette tactic. This is, is a new phrase for me. But yes, there is another key here. I don't really want just want to use my spinning around mechanic because I feel kind of like that's a bit that's a bit naughty. That's not really what you were meant to do, and it's a bit sneaky. So I don't really want to be overly sneaky. Despite despite, despite the fact that I'm dealing with dogs that jump out of paintings. Hi. Dogs with apples in front of their face. Why didn't I question the bizarreitude of that? Why is there a dog with an apple in front of his face? And why is he wearing a jacket and a shirt and a tie? Why is he better dressed than I am? This isn't fair. This isn't fair. I feel threatened. I'm not just by the dog that won't stop licking me. And presumably bapping me with his apple. Oh, gosh. Okay, right. We're nearly there. We where is the door? It's not here. Kitty heart. Oh, gosh. I don't know where his painting is. There it is, I think. I think I saw it. No, I didn't. Kitty. I'm going to have so many bruises on my back from walking into back wind walls from walking backwards at this rate. Okay, we're very nearly out. There you are, I should have known you'd be right there. I did it! I don't know how, it's been a small miracle, but I think I've done it. Oh. Smooches, double smooches, smooches, at, no, triple smooches? Sort of triple smooches. Oh, there's a cat and a monkey as well. I love the expression on the cat. The cat is really interested in something. I dread to think what it is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The canine version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, perhaps? This one's just lovely. It has a lovely sort of, I don't know, a lovely sort of British tone to it. Sort of British type of dog. Very sort of bland, slightly rainy background. And sort of old, scraggy clothes. Very British indeed. And yes, the the slightly, the, the slightly naughty looking Mother Teresa of a dog, I don't know, she's got this sort of looking over the shoulder thing, bone, oh yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you, th you, you think nuns are all, all, all prayer and no fun, but I'll show you, this one's just really going for it, he's trying so hard to get the part and I really, really approve of that, why the people over there aren't, you know, dogs as well, it's beyond me, and, 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 and why they also look bizarrely like hooks, on the end of knobbly things. I don't know. I have to confess that may have been part of Van Gogh's original painting. I haven't a baldies because I'm an uncultured swine. And then this guy. It's just, you know, bizarrely tall. The slender man of dogs, I suppose. Righty ho. Can we leave now? Yes, we can. Good. New game plus. Is it going to have even more intense music? We're not going to go all the way through this. But I might go a little bit of the way through this for for the rough night at the gallery. Right. Okay, we we'll just go through the first little bit, just just the first sort of room that I went through. I just want to see how much more difficult this is, because I have to confess this is the only game, with the exception of the Arkham games I've ever played, that has a new game plus mode. So. I just realised the controls aren't wazzed. They're were. Because pressing A and D don't do anything, they don't move you to the side. And pressing A. You could press S to go backwards before. I know that, I went backwards a lot. That's why it's more difficult. You've taken away three quarters of my motor functions. This is hardly sporting. Yeah, so I now cannot walk backwards. This is going to be impossible! But I am going to get through one room. Just one. <laughs> Just with the Mona Lickia. That pun didn't really work, but never mind. Just with the Mona Lickia, I'm just going to try and get through here using my pirouette tactic, which isn't working at all. Yeah, this will be impossible. Absolutely. 
entirely impossible. But I'm going to try and get through a second room because I'm just that much of a badass. Get back in your painting. Thank you very much. I've got through two rooms. I'm not going to get through this room. No way on earth am I going to get through this room. Yep. I lost my mojo because I got interrupted. Kitty hot. Okay. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Right. Okay. In the hopes of that standing here will not get me killed, and in appreciation for the deviousness of the uh, reduced controls. That is that, uh, just a random point, just to, you know, inject a moment's sanity into this bizarre bizarreness. Um... I like that. I like inventive difficulty, not just increasing numbers, like, oh, enemy moves fast, enemy does more damage, you have less health. Things are a little bit more inventive, like how this takes away your half, your ability to move backwards, or how, like, Saber Beast flips the world around in order to, like, mess with your memory. They're really inventive methods of, 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 of making things harder, which is one of the things I love about playing indie games, because you get these really inventive and different bizarre things. You get a lot of rubbish as well. But sometimes you get something silly, but surprisingly fun, with a relatively refined little core gameplay mechanic, which has an interesting little difficulty mechanic. So this was <laughs> this was a shock of some of the more bizarre stuff I've played. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other, and good night.